<laughs> Ooh, I love songs that just make you want to move your waistline. I don't even know move this for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, embrace the magic of Tuesday, where opportunities dance in the sunlight of possibilities, and the journey is not about perfection, it's about progress and growth. Don't let Tuesday be ordinary, be the extraordinary force that moves mountains because a Tuesday filled with passion and purpose sets the tone for a fulfilling week ahead. It's Movie Tuesday on East Flash and we are about to transport you to another realm where you can explore the movie world while also experiencing a musical journey. So trips around the world are great, but what about lessons around the world? Let's welcome you to the best lunch hour show in Nigeria. Oh shit, you heard it right. Join the conversation on the show by sending your messages on X at TVC Connect, on Facebook at TVC Entertainment, and of course on Instagram at TVC Entertainment underscore. If you're on the move, don't be left out by watching the show live via our website, which is www.tvcentertainment.com. TV and get up to date on our Instagram fan page at splash underscore TVC, okay? And speaking about updates, I got a little update for y'all, but I'm going to tell you at the end of the show, so you're going to have to stay tuned to hear what the update is, okay? I can call. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's your homegirl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. It's a situation in the crown. It's the hostess with the mistress, baby. It's his honey shmoney. It's his honey rubber. It's his honey on point. It's his honey flames. Ah, uh, miss my Mr. Flames. It's <laughs> okay. It's part of it. It's okay. Mr. Flames does not want to come back from holiday. <laughs> I am telling you. <laughs> Jepo, come back from holiday. Miss Flames is busy. Yes. Also, I thought you were going to introduce yourself in French because you're giving us, you know, a bit of Parisian. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Because... Uh, I am, by faith, I'm looking forward Just to, by faith. <laughs> to visiting Paris, uh, you know, going to France very, very soon. So, um, so je uh, m'appelle Ola Yemi Okunwale. Merci beaucoup. Now, wow. All right, let me just bring the team back to Lagos, Nigeria, because at this point in time, I don't know what's going on, but it is a girl, Dala, aka the goddess of skills. Y'all see me outside and you call me what? Da la 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 And you're giving us all the stack of jewelry and yes. I am here for it. I'm loving Darling. every bit of it. So, so it's that thing where you know you're on the show with Honeypot and Honeypot is going to come through. So you're just like, you know what? Let's give them. All right. Let's join together and give them hot hot. I love it. You understand? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, people, we are coming through with an exciting show planned for you today with news items from the entertainment world. Mm -hmm. We'll then be checking out our event package following that, Darla. We'll be responsible for today's dosage of all the social media madness only on Social View. And of course, up next on our plate, we have a guest joining us. We will then wrap everything off with Movies, movies at, at the, the Movies. movies. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, it is East Flash, and it is now time for the entertainment news. All right, to kick off our news stories, Duncan Mighty talks about his break from music. Nigerian singer Duncan Mighty has revealed that he took a sabbatical from music to focus on his education. Speaking in a recent interview with 3 Music TV, Accra, Ghana, the singer stated that he has an MSc in acoustics from Freiburg University in Germany. He said, and I quote, Taking a break from music wasn't a difficult decision. Most importantly, you must be able to equip yourself. You must be in charge of your career or business. For me, talent is not enough. Music is not enough. I have to back it up with education. Studying in an international community like Freiburg University, it is not an English-speaking university. You have to do Dutch language courses for six months, then you would be admitted to school, he added. But I give God praise. I think education is the only thing that remains with you, even in old age. So if you cannot go to school when your parents could send you, you should go when you can send yourself. That was why I took a break from music. I'm not done with education yet. I must have a PhD. If you're not educated, someone is out there waiting to use everything you have made. Be careful. It is not about singing today. It's called recording business and quotes. During the interview, Duncan Mighty also revealed that he was involved in the Niger Delta crisis. According to him, God saved his life several times when he was involved in militancy. He said, and I quote again, I was involved in the Niger Delta crisis. 
God has saved my life severally. I'm a Port Harcourt boy. I am not from Lagos. I come from the South South, from the war zone before the amnesty. I have been involved with a lot of community activities that had to do with protecting of the, our people, oil. But when fame came, nobody knows that I am that boy who was in the creeks back in the days, end quote. Okay, um, I absolutely, totally, completely agree with Duncan Mighty on mm -hmm. this because I ask myself every time to that question, like, what am I doing? Especially when you think that perhaps the career, uh, maybe... Uh, Path that you're on. You know, and all that, or maybe you're yeah. thinking that maybe there is no growth or something. What mm -hmm. can you do? Just go back to school and that, nobody can rob you of it. I was having a conversation with a friend lately, and so we're talking about certain things, how people answer certain questions, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and he was telling me that, do you know that thing of you go to school, you have your BSc, mm -hmm. you go from there, you have your master's, you go from there, you have your PhD. Do you think that, you know, those things are jokes? Like, those are, you're learning as you go. Yep. And there are things that you can't, you can't just buy like that. Like, you just have to go through it. You have to know it. And I totally agree. I love the fact that he loves education. And mm -hmm. you can always come back to that. And I love the fact that, you know, back in the day, again, it was Neto C that would say the only MC with, with the MSC. And right now, you have a lot of people having <laughs> the MSC. And MSC is not looking like you're just having, you know, the, uh, just your normal degree. Yep. And he's even oh, going for it. a I'm PhD. Here. Like See, I am so here for it. I'm so here for it. So my thing is, when I'll start referring to him as Professor Duncan... I, I love it. I love it. I love it already. So, so my thing for me is the fact that he also remembers that he's coming from humble beginnings. Yeah. Um, and it's good to be able to reflect and look at your life and say, you know what? I'm that person that used to be in the creeks when he used to fight for oil and all of that protects our people and all. And then now he's studying in a foreign country. He's learning Dutch. I love. There should just always I be love. an improvement to your life. Always. Yeah. Always. Okay, moving <laughs> on. Beyonce's new album becomes Spotify's most streamed day of album in 2024. Beyonce's new album, Cowboy Carter, has become Spotify's most streamed album of 2024 just after its release on Friday, March the 30th. Cowboy Carter was streamed 76.13 million times after it was dropped on Spotify on Friday, which is way higher than what our last album, Renaissance, did on Spotify in just some days about 43 million streams at the time and is also the biggest release this year. Beyonce's new album has also created a new record as this is the first time a country album has earned this title this year on Spotify and not just that but it's the biggest debut on Spotify by a black female artist ever even before Cowboy Carter dropped. Bay single Texas Odom had already been streamed over 200 million times. And we say congratulations. A big congratulations to Beyonce. A big congratulations to the Bayhive. Um, so my thing is how Beyonce took a genre that's not her natural genre. And she's absolutely killing it. Being a cowboy now is so cool. Yeah. People want to dress like, you know, Beyonce is giving yeah. you. And of course, trust Beyonce to give you the outfits whenever she's doing anything. Like, she looks so good. The picture she's always putting out. And I'm like, never did I ever. If you had told me that Beyonce would do country music, I'd just be like, I don't understand from where to where. But she took it. She put her spin on it. And it's sounding so good. Cowboy Carter doing that many num Like, Beyonce! Well done, ah, well done. Ah. And Girl power. The, the fact that <laughs> at some point Dolly Parton was saying, Beyonce, please, I'd like you to do a remake of <laughs> my song Jolene. And she did it. But then yesterday I saw three, three. I saw Dolly Parton's. Mm -hmm. Then I saw Who's Own Again. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He escapes me now. And then I saw Beyonce. Oh, and wow. I said, no, 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 no. Beyonce did not kill Jolino. <laughs> Leave it, leave it for Dolly Parton. No, leave it for... Oh, but so the thing Dolly is, Parton is just so humble. Okay, so that's what I'm saying that. See how country music is not Beyonce's, like, it's not Today, the first line yeah, of her fault. Yeah. I mean, Dolly Parton leaves, breathes. So, no she, surprises. I understand, but then that, I was yeah. like, oh, oh my gosh, no, you shouldn't have done this. She shouldn't <laughs> have tried. <laughs> like, yeah, I get, you know. Mm. 
Yeah. I mean, but it was based on request, and she ordered well, that request okay, as well. Okay, it's okay. So let's let's just take it's it. It's okay. okay. We'll, take well, congratulations it. to okay, Beyonce. Congratulations. And the fact that she opened doors for other people who have not been seen, and mm -hmm. they've been doing country music for a while. I I was having this conversation with OJ mm -hmm. the other time. Alrighty. So that's all we can take on entertainment news. Let's check out what went down at the movie premiere of Beast of Two Worlds at Jakaju, after which we will be back with Socialville. Stay here with us. But now it is time for Socialville, where we're going to be checking out all the madness, all the craziness on social media. And of course, we're bringing that to you for your viewing pleasure. Let us start off with this one. All right, Meme King is here in the building, and then they're saying, just one week talking stage, and you have already caught feelings. Now, why then they quick break your heart? I agree. But could this be you? You used to quickly... How? Ah, I've gone through so how? much in this life that I might not look like what I've been through when it comes to relationship. Uh, you know, so I do not do nonsense because She's I really I want my nonsense. mental health to be intact. Okay, so you don't quickly be catching feelings. Which feelings? So how long did it take for you and uh, Mr. Flames to, okay, to okay. ignite the flames? Okay, okay, thank so you. So that was not quick? Uh, that was not quick. I had to, like, pay attention to every detail. Um, I had to know whether there were red flags that I should, you know, run. So, so my twin does not have red flag. Uh, you know, so he's not a perfect human being, but I tell you to a very large extent, he's a fantastic man. All right, Mr. J. Paul, as they have put your CV outside, <laughs> may they not now come and be rushing him with you? Don't, they know they praise person like that for us. Uh, no, I will praise him. Okay. And guess what? Uh, I do not entertain nonsense. I do not take it easy at all. <laughs> if you think that you can come for my man, I fight <laughs> with everything. You fight dirty. Dirty. It's D okay. <laughs> it's okay. I did not know you were like this. You're a classy girl. I am classy, but if you want the you, trenches, you see it. Okay. bring her. All right. All right, we have Isha Oluwa, uh, Brain One here saying, as I they boil water for Gary, I they warm soup at the same time. Yes, so. Gas is now yeah. one, three. So there is gas, there is the water, and then there is the soup. Just put it on top of the pot. Don't worry. Stack Everything it. will. And guess what? It will even help you. So that if you are very hungry, it's at the same time that you are doing everything. Oh, wow. Not that you are waiting for. So it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's be productive. <laughs> All right, so Okon here, and then they're saying, there's this confidence that comes after eating a bar. I don't email my Oga sack letter. I say, me, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so my problem is, after the Eba is digested, and you have come back to your, your senses, eyes are clear. <laughs> what we now, we now go back and say, sorry, sir, it was what? Uh, you will say, you, you, you were lapping the people from your village. OK. No, now you lap them. There's no solution for that one. It's all right. <laughs> All right, at Simply Debs here, and this one is a post saying, I just saw someone on TikTok say he's buying a BMW for his girlfriend because BMW means be my wife. This is how I want to be proposed to. And Nuff said NY, I said, I'm going to buy my girl in Nissan to let her know I want her all to myself. Okay. Nissan Ultima. So don't leave me, first of all. No, don't leave get out. Me. You are going to leave me. On that one, you don't but, like Nissan, no, get out. but you like be my wife. I like be my wife. I mean, you know, it was really that was telling us that somebody used to drive a BMW yellow. I love it. It's the extra ness for me. I love it and the drama. All right, let's take this last one. It said, I've been want to ask you for 3k, but I can't let her reason say, Where are you safe once I'm from? And then the other person replied, Understanding is the key. Yeah, yeah. understanding is actually the key, no vex. Seriously. No vex. No, but sometimes the person might have now, only just ask. Ask and it shall be giving. Seek and it shall find. It's good to be considerate. Okay. So as I did like this, I'm not supposed to just ask you, say, maybe no, buy me lunch. Think I'm like, I feel uh, think I'm. Wait, did she just pay house rent? Okay, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But my problem is, you cannot be shouting on each morning, on each morning now. Time for billing, you will now disappear. It is not for billing, no. So the shmoney, what's the meaning of the shmoney in the only shmoney? So is the shmoney that I'm investing, I'm doing great things. So why are you telling us what you're doing? Don't help us now. I, I can't, but on the investment. I mean, nobody say every time, every time. If I did dash them out like that, you think I'll stay with shmoney? Well, that's actually quite true, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, guys, it is a wrap on Socialville. 
And of course, coming up next, we've got our guest who will be joining us after this break. Righty, thank you so much for staying here with us. We just thought to give you a bit of Mrs. Carter right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our guest this afternoon is an Algerian actress and filmmaker who's known for our dynamism and versatility on set in our role delivery. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome to the show this afternoon the producer of Vist of Two Worlds, Aja Kaju. Eniola Ajao. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going? Going on well. Congratulations. Congratulations, exactly. Thank I you. mean, your movies did the biggest opening ever in Nollywood, 63.2 million. million. To the glory of God. <laughs> <laughs> I am super duper excited for you. you. Well done. You. Well done. Thank and I mean, it, it is an amazing feat, especially since we heard how you had to sell things gather money to be able to shoot this movie what was that process like for you it was crazy guys um it wasn't a, it is a task it was um overwhelming because i should you not know, take it upon myself just take that risk it's a big risk so i look at self from my i'm like oh okay if this guy could take this um bus step then who am I not to take? Take it as well. Yeah. So I sold my cars, I sold my land, I sold all my gold, and I had to like borrow money from people to put this together. It was crazy, yeah. What would you have done if it didn't pay off? <sighs> I'll just keep trying. Love it. Yes. Love it. Yes, I love it. I mean, life itself is a risk mm -hmm. at the end of the day, right? Absolutely. Yes. And so, uh, this movie has caused a lot of frenzy. Bruhaha. I mean, bruha. <laughs> we cannot even run away from that. You know, I know, right? Uh, from the uh, premiere. From to, the dress code. From the dress code oh, that you guys, yes, yes, the dress code. Because, I mean, I, I saw a lot of review of, or maybe one or two reviews of the dress code. And people went all out for you. Even you went people, all out. You went all out, first of all, as the producer, <laughs> yes. yes. And people went all out, even if some people did not get it. But I just love Love that there was the effort people put into it mm -hmm. and it shows that a lot of people actually like you yeah. in the industry because for people to you know turn out for you like that and then again apart from that you know announcing the winner of the best, best dress, dress and all that yeah. uh, a female and you know uh, the dissatisfaction that followed it and everything <laughs> And I saw that you were not really cool with that because you were like, oh, my God. And your own was even like, I mean, what I could see was that maybe you felt, ah, the money I've spent on this <laughs> thing. Yeah, with this thing that these people are doing. If I cover me, I So I don't know. Like, you want to tell us, how did that even go with you? Like, you know. It was not easy creating content, you know. Mm -hmm. People are busy. As in, in making the industry, people are so busy. Everybody is in the themselves mm -hmm. and the likes. So I was the only one creating content. So you were doing it yourself? Myself. Wow. You know, I did it myself. You know, to gather content creators, it was difficult. Right. So I was dancing, creating things, trying to push. So on the premiere, they just came to me like, okay, what can I do to put this film in the faces of, you know, Nigerians? Okay. Said, okay, Bob is coming. I called Bob. Bob, I have a strategy. Can you just, uh, you're coming, you're not coming money actually okay this just is turned okay can you do, do this for me okay no problem i can so all through that that they were just like because he knew what was mm -hmm. happening that he wasn't winning the money we just there to help me out because he knew people are going to talk about this mm -hmm. now so but i didn't know what i didn't realize is that our people are going to frown at uh, that that much okay but we knew they, they are going to talk about it okay that will show well, okay, you came out to was, talk about yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. You came out to talk about it and say that, okay, you know what? This is no longer, did you say it's no longer the winner or that you're going it to? It wasn't even the winner. So, so she said, it, it wasn't was, even the winner. Too. So it, it wasn't was, even the winner. So I wasn't even thinking it was, okay, I, for me, I'll say it's a smart idea in the climb that we're in. And I say this because at the end of the day, what you want is the promotion of, of the, the movie. Film, yeah. So to be honest, when I heard Bob Risky had one best female, I said, ah, they don't use us, Kat Cruz, yeah. So even me, I was surprised when people now came online and were like actually really angry. Well, with the premiere, yeah. with everything yeah. I've been doing, you know, I just need that 
push. The boss. Yes, you're yeah, the boss, actually. And the fact that I think that your colleagues are actually super amazing in the sense that I've been seeing a lot of people. Um, I've seen Messi Aigbe, yeah. I've seen mm -hmm. Daira Musa, Dream mm -hmm. Meet and Greet, you Odula know, Day. announcing that uh, Odun Day. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. In fact, even the same Bob Reese, I think that was yesterday. Well, no, 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 I'm saying you have to come more. I have to do Meet and Greet for you. I said, okay, Bob, oh, I think it was at ICM, yes. 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 yeah. Yes. And I, I read the comment section and I saw that people frowned at it again. They didn't like the fact mm -hmm. that, you know, mm -hmm. you went to I can push welcome, I can welcome push him. him. Yeah. Aww. I can't push uh, Bob aside because he really, he really, he re he did well. really helped you. He did well. All right, uh, we're going to go on a quick break. If you're wondering what the movie that we're talking about is, we are going to show that right now, and then we'll come back and we have a couple of more questions. So, love, love, love that. I mean, aside all the drama that happened surrounding the movie, my thing is the people who have actually seen it that I know have all said that the movie was yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. I just want to know, of all the storylines you could have told, why did you pick this one? Um, so this is a story that talks about our culture, our tradition, and I'm sure that a lot of people was told about Sharon Koshenio. Yeah. Yes, like um, another turning to uh, um, antelope, and rather, okay. turning to human. Okay, okay. Most times, if you want to talk about um, um, animal that turns to human, we go for antelope. So myself and Nadeba Yotiki and Nadeba Yotiki, we sat and we thought, okay, what can she do? Mm -hmm. I do not want to do something like um, walk. Kind of, okay, we have okay, Jabin Jagu okay, and the okay, likes. Right. I said, okay, what can I do differently? And okay, let's do drama, but it has to be intense. Mm -hmm. Then we put it down, so okay, do it this way, do it that way, then we're able to come up with that Fantastic. story. Fantastic. Well done. Mm -hmm. And talking about tradition, talking about all of this, I know recently we've been talking about Oscars, the Oscars, and how we can submit our works to. Uh, you know, Nollywood can be mm -hmm. a part of it big time. I don't know, when you were producing this, did you um, have. Oscars in mind? No. I just How so? Why? Me. Why were you not strategic? Well, I think if I make something good, at the end of the day, we can think about, you know, submitting that. But the target was, oh, I want my story to be in the faces of Nigerians. Okay. I want to make something better. I really want to take that risk. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that was the only idea. Yeah, I, I think the reason why she was asking is because a lot of times, there are, movie, there are movies that we have that we expect to see at the Oscars. Yes. But then they'll say... Something will be sent. Yes, the maybe the language, language, the dangerous or, language. So I think and all that's that. why she's asking. Like, oh, okay. You know that they have that criteria. Yeah. Like, is that criteria followed? Per chance that they see this movie and say, wow, we actually love this. Do you think yeah. they fulfilled all the obligations? And I think people started yeah. doing it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, for sure, but I would say that I think that when somebody like Kulia Flyer mm -hmm. produces these days, like I just he want to believe that he's calculating the... it and he's having it in mind that <laughs> yeah. well, well, I could submit this work for you know. Maybe Oscars because it was my first time of you know coming okay. to the cinema. That was not my idea at all. But Kulia can think about you know putting that out there or submitting for the Oscar. But that was not my idea. My idea was to be in the face of people and launch this, uh, this film to the world All to right. see. I mean, but right saying, now, I could think about it. Yeah, because you're like saying that. that your first time coming to... This quality is not looking like who is coming to cinema. Yeah, for yeah this is not my first time of making... I've been making movies <laughs> yeah. to the you know, yeah. bigger screen. This is my first time of doing that. Amazing. Yeah. So as a non-Yoruba-speaking individual that can be lost, because sometimes we'll see this movie and all this... And we're just like, oh, my, I don't understand what's going on. Let me go and watch the one that I know. <laughs> yeah. Do you think this is something that somebody like me that doesn't really understand Yoruba will be able to watch and still follow along and Say, oh wow this is more than everybody's expectation like we've been having good reviews all the way all the way aside the social media bar like you said the movie is selling itself right now because the picture quality the sound the story is there we have a lot of animations it was you know subtitled in a very good way That's at the same time the narration was stored in English and everything is just perfect oh, all the way. Great, great, great. So there is something that, you know, um, I know that people talk about when it comes to especially the Yoruba movie industry. Like, you know, you have colleagues and then you have friends and then you want to produce a movie and um, you call your friends just because perhaps you don't have enough money to mm -hmm. go around yeah. to help you. Does that still uh, happen? And if it still happens, <laughs> I'm just saying, even if somebody is your friend, as in, do you understand? Won't the person eat? Won't the person survive? You know, if you if you keep doing it that way, yep. or Remy, come and help me. Come and help me. Is it that afterwards you now pay the person? Or how does it how do people move forward? I think that's what is keeping our industry, you know, forward, what's keeping them moving forward. Because we keep to, you know, come. 
um, how do I put it together, uh, together, together and yeah. help one another. Yeah. You understand? It's been there all the way and it's still helping us till date. But well, do you think it's really helping in the it's, real sense of it? Well, because if I wanted to like, when I wanted to produce the film and I wanted to do it the way everybody's doing it, if I do not have my people mm -hmm. around me, I would have spent more than what I you know, spent. I would spend like two times of what mm -hmm. I spent. And I feel like that's a good thing to know, to help uh, one another. We're here to help one another. You shouldn't be, okay, it's, it's business. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you help me, I help you at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I feel it's good for us. Okay. Yes. Amazing. Um, I like that you touched that because I wanted to ask, what informed your decision for the cast? Because we're seeing some big, big names. Actors, yeah. Killing it. So how did you choose the people that you wanted to be in the movie? I told they chose you. They just said, "Ah, oh, you're doing film. Ah, let's go. We're no, 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 no. Yeah. After you know writing the script, I thought about, oh, Shola Shabali can give me this. Um, yeah. the uh, the king mother. Okay. So, okay, she's an action woman. She's always energetic and they like. Okay, I, I say. Let me call on Shola Shabali so that she can help me out. The way I have Oduna that they call her already. I feel me at the bio. Ibrahim Chata, Bim Bakitola, you know, a lot of wonder, uh, wonderful actors. Then the comic part, uh, Latif Adedi, I'm like, okay, he's my guy, let me just call on him. And he was able to, all of them were able to do it for me. Mm. I want to know, what's one thing that surprised you during the shooting process of this that maybe something that touched you that like, you didn't even expect to happen or maybe somebody came through for you or... Was okay, there, the yeah. one that when we got to Oyo because we filmed the... In Oyo. In Oyo okay. village. So, Marshall Ashwabali was like, oh, I need... Um, I have to bring toilet. All those uh, commercial oh, toilets should okay, be okay, pushed. Okay, I'm okay, like, okay, okay, okay. Ah, mommy, there's no way I cannot bring toilet from Lagos to um, Oyo. That you just have to manage. So you everybody know. had to like go and do shop yeah, shop shop put. Yeah, shortcuts. Yeah, that's what we did. All oh, true, you know, feel me. So you know, I had to start begging her, mommy, please. Oh, please da, 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 da. That's a lot and she was able to, you know. Oh cope. my God. <laughs> I mean, I love that you shared that because that's people don't know what. Huge. Yeah, because people yeah, don't know what actors exactly. and actresses, you go know, through, crew, a lot of them go through. You come out, you just see this movie and think, oh wow, great movie. Um, but you don't know how people mosquitoes are biting it's, them, it's cast, they are sleeping on sets, oh and gosh. all of that. Like it's actually crazy. But shout out to every single person that pulled through for you. That's yeah. thank you guys. Thank you. So I would like to ask, is there anything you'd like us to know about Ajakaji? Perhaps people have not been talking about the spotlight is not on and you're like ah these people they must know this thing oh yes okay tell us Ajakaju is a story that is so dear to my heart because we've put in it a lot of hard work mm -hmm. the animation part is not a joke people need to see the aside the trailer they are seeing online yeah. we can't put everything online but if you go out there go to a cinema near you to watch this thing you you would know what we are really really talking about the animation the narration the sound the soundtrack the music in this film it's top notch all the way. We have amazing things in this film that would, you know, um, make people watch the film. Amazing. The film is now, you know, speaking for itself. Not mm. even this. So yeah, yeah it's that one has... Because the reviews is crazy. <laughs> Everybody's talking good about the film all yeah. the way. So I just want people to see it and appreciate hard work. All right, that is amazing. Yeah. Um, so your social media before we go, what is your social media? Enola underscore Ajao. A J A O. Enola underscore Ajao. That's my social All right. Media. Thank you so thank much you. for coming on this thank show. You. Thank you for giving us such an amazing movie. Thank I'm definitely you. going to add this to a list of things I need to see now. Uh -oh. Because that's what we know. This is how we like to watch film. All right. So thank you. Thank you thank for having you. me. Thank you. Um, so we're going to go on a break and we'll be back. <laughs> And Nollywood, a beast of two worlds, Ajakaju. A desperate king facing banishment due to his wife's inability to produce a son, takes a new wife from another world who promises him an heir. Still, her arrival brings unforeseen chaos to the kingdom, forcing the king to confront his fears and fights to secure his dynasty's future. Actors include Odulade Adekola, Eniola Ajao, who you just saw, Shola Shobowale, Femi Adepayo, Bimbo Akintola, Fethia Belogun, Mercy Aigbe, Ibrahim Chata, Latif Adejimedi, amongst others. Oh, wow. I think at this point in time, we, we've heard everything we need to hear about the yes. movie. It's just for you to, to go watch. and watch it. And that's the truth. That's it. All right, moving on in Hollywood. Kung Fu Panda 4. After Po is tapped to become the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace, he needs to find and train a new dragon warrior, while a wicked sorceress plans to re-summon all the monster villains whom Po has vanquished. 
to the spirit realm. Actors include Jack Black, Aquafina, Viola Davis, Dustin Hoffman, Bran Cranston, James Hung, Ian McShane, amongst others. I mean, I've, all, I've always been a fan of Kung Fu Panda. I like how adorable he is. And people that think that you're too old to watch animation. No, 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 no. I love, life. I enjoy Just... animation. Oh, my God. I do. <laughs> I do. All right, people. It is that time where we come to the end of the show. And um, at the start of the show, I said I did have an announcement and an update. And I just wanted to let you all know that this is the last time that I will be signing out from the show because this is my last day on East Splash. But, um, I mean, I just want to use this opportunity to thank every single person. Why do I feel suddenly emotional? What? what? Gotta hold yourself together. Yeah. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you who tune in to this show. I mean, you make it worth the while. I mean, I see you all outside and you come with all the love and the da la 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 la. So um, I love you all and I'm going to be leaving and handing over to Honeypot and OJ and J Paul and Lady Cats to take care of you guys. But of course, I still love you people and we'll see you sometime. No, hug me. I'll start crying. Yeah. Yeah, so that's me um, officially signing out. Bye. Okay, before, no, you don't, you can't bye. say bye now. Oh, let me just say bye. Go on. No, we've got something for Dala. Uh, and I would say that um, before then, let's just watch this clip. Oh, and, uh, we still do that. Yes, let's watch this clip. Hey, Jesus. Don't worry, but you can call me the goddess of skills. You guys see me outside and you call me what? La 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 la. In essence, I'm a bully because everything, <laughs> every clip, I just pick on person. Oh. I love it. It's the energy, and it's how. Um, thank you for reminding me. Also, only but you never dance that dance. So I'm not going. So to wait, I will leave this show with I'm you. Not talking not about that dance now. Let me let me do my payoff. Okay. So um. Dala is the absolute love of our lives here. Yeah. And I would say that I'm going to miss Dala because Dala means so many things to me. Yeah. I'm going to be emotional right now. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. No grief for him. No grief for him. Hold I'm up. Grief for him. I'm not <laughs> going to be emotional right now. But I'm going to tell you that Dala is very brilliant. Dala is very amiable. Dala is ready to teach you anything and everything. So I come. And, you know, a part of me that wants to be a bit old school is just saying, Dala, what's that app? What's that, this thing? And then she's teaching me. She's telling me that, okay, you can do it this way and all of those. So, Dala, we really appreciate you. Thank you Thank so much you, for all Anish the joy and happiness that you have brought here. Thank and we're not you. going to allow you go with Oh, sure. Oh, my God. You know, I love him. Can I open it? You know? Mm, honey, money. Uh, yeah, let's come and be going. All right, on behalf of everybody, King OJ, Catherine, <laughs> J Paul, Hollywood. <laughs> you know, we are saying thank you. And my favorite, best man, my director, my cameraman, yes. every single person. I mean, when I come into the studio and then they are micing me, you always see all of them. Open yes, your book you, Mr. <laughs> Kolao. Everybody, I, I want to say thank you. I mean, they definitely made this job fun. It doesn't even feel like I'm going to work most yeah. of the time, which is always the best thing. And we need to sign out officially. All right. It's your girl, Jala, aka the goddess of skills. You already know. And you see me outside and you still call me what? Jala, la, 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 la. Bye, people.